gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be Ari's two-month update. She turned two months on the 16th. Um, and I'm just going to kind of talk about her milestones and how she's doing and then her latest doctor's appointment for her two months. So here she is. She was just asleep so I don't know if she's going to um, get grouchy or what. But here's Ari. I can't tell if she's purposely batting at her toys or not yet. Um, but she definitely can hit them with her little hands and whatnot. Um, she likes to kick her feet a lot when she's laying down. And her eye contact is getting a little bit better. Um, she sometimes, like, looks at me, but it's not all the time. And you have to really, like, get her attention and all that. She does smile. I will, of course, include some pictures and videos and whatnot at the end of this little update. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. But she does have a cute little smile sometimes. And she does make little coo sounds. She does take a passy. Um, she pretty much has it all day. Um... Definitely a very comforting thing for her. She is pretty clingy as far as to me. Um, I'll be holding her and if she's not like dead asleep and I put her down, she will get upset. This is during the daytime. At nighttime, it's different. But during the day, if I like put her in her swing to like try to go make Parker some food or try to clean up the house or whatnot, she usually gets upset and cranky. So I do have to wear her a lot with my little wrap thing that I have because um, she likes being close to mommy. She likes feeling comforted and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so at nighttime, she does, we keep her swaddled in a little swaddle pod, the little zip up thing, and she sleeps in her bassinet beside our bed. Um, and she's fine, like I'll nurse her and then I'll put her down on her thing and she'll go to sleep and she has no issues during the nighttime with that. I just, during the daytime, it's something different. Um, but she does sleep throughout the night pretty well. She does about four hours and I feed her and then another four hours and I feed her and then it kind of depends after that. Um, but during the day we are feeding every three hours. Her doctor said that he wanted me to feed her every three hours even though that she was growing really well. Um, he still wanted me to stick to three hours. So that's what we're doing. Um, she is getting a lot stronger with her head during tummy time. She can pretty much immediately just lift up her head and she kind of gets on her arms. Um, and she holds it up there for, you know, you know, like a couple of minutes at a time and then it won't, you know, come down. But, um, she could do her head back and forth like this. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. She's found her hands, um, within like the last month. She's done a lot of like hand sucking and all that. Hasn't found her toes yet. I can't wait for her to find her toes because I used to think Parker sucking on his toes was like the cutest and funniest thing ever. Um... She does still, we're giving her gripe water and gas drops, and I've been trying with some um, probiotic little stuff to help because she does have colic, um, so to help with all that, and I definitely think the gripe water has helped. I'm not sure if the, the probiotics are helping or not. I feel like they are, but um, we'll, we'll just have to see. Um, she does have... She, she takes a lot of poos during the day, but if she doesn't get one, like, really, really good, like, big poop, she gets upset um, and struggles with that until she gets, like, one really big one. Because she has a lot of, like, little poops. I know this is TMI, but she has a lot of little poops, um, and she just isn't happy until she gets one really big, messy one out. Um, so there's that. Um, breastfeeding is going pretty decent, definitely harder than it was with my son. Um, she just can sometimes, like, be really fussy and just doesn't want to, like, lash onto the boob. So then I go ahead and I pump a bottle and then give it to her that way. Um, but, like, if I'm feeding her eight times during the day or throughout, um, she'll probably... I mean, most of the time she latches on every day. 
Um, there might be like one instance or two instances during the week that she's just way too fussy and just doesn't want to latch and all that. So I just get a bottle because she also takes a bottle or frozen milk um, that I've pumped if needed. Oh, she's trying to poop right now. I don't know if you guys could have heard that. Yeah, um, so I think that's pretty much it with milestones. Um, she does pretty okay in her car seat. We haven't gone on a trip or anywhere really long yet. Um, but she can also get a little fussy. Um, but she falls asleep for the most part every time she's in the car seat and we're driving. She seems to like the car. Um, I don't think she's figured out her brother yet. I don't think she knows what's going on. He likes to do his little baby voice with her and be like, hi, Ari. Um, and talk to her like that and I think it's the cutest thing ever and I have he, she has like no clue about about him yet like she always just kind of looks at him I just man she's pooping um just kind of looks at him like who are you um and I can't wait to get all that she is currently in size one diapers and she is wearing zero to three month clothing um so I guess I will just talk about her um oh for her two month update at the doctor's her weight was 10 pounds 10.4 ounces which is really really good parker was 10 pounds 8 ounces when he was two months so it's crazy that she's like um a little bit like bigger than he was and she was born at like a pound and a little bit less than him um she is 22 inches long and her head was 36 so she's definitely grown quite a bit i am very very proud of her um the breast milk and all of that is doing very well it's making her grow so good um and they were impressed with her growth and she went up quite a bit in the, her percentile um because she was pretty low and now she's in like the 30s so that was really nice to hear but yeah everything seems to be going pretty well with Ari and she's not gonna have another appointment until she is four months old um, for some reason they skip the three months so there's that but yeah I will include some pictures and all of that so you guys can see and I thank you guys so much for watching